Hey guys, I've previously talked about my love for salmon, and today I'm sharing a recipe that's so incredibly easy, it only takes about 20 minutes to make, and it's bursting with flavor. And that's my Dijon baked salmon. Now, because this recipe is so easy, that also means that this is gonna be a quick video, but do stay until the end because after the recipe, I'm sharing my three favorite types of salmon and what I eat on a regular basis and one type of salmon that I do recommend that you stay away from. But for now, let's just dive straight into this recipe. So I'm using king salmon today, and I'll talk about that more at the end, but no matter what species of salmon you use, you'll need about a pound and a half, and just place that on a parchment-lined baking tray. To make our sauce, we'll start by chopping up about a quarter cup of fresh parsley into a fairly fine chop. Then add this to a small mixing bowl with a quarter cup of Dijon mustard and one tablespoon of lemon juice, which is about a half of a lemon. To this, you'll add one tablespoon of avocado oil and two to three garlic cloves. You could mince the garlic or finely dice it if you'd like slightly bigger pieces as I'm doing today. Then just add a little salt and pepper and give it a stir. Coat the top of your salmon with the Dijon mix, and this also helps to prevent the salmon from drying out, so make sure that it's coated well. Then bake it for about 18 to 20 minutes in a 375 degree Fahrenheit oven. And that's it for a super easy and tasty salmon recipe. You can then slice the salmon into individual portions or flake it into a salad or macro bowl. But however you eat it, I guarantee that you'll be making it again and again and again. As I mentioned earlier in the video, I used king salmon in this recipe. And king salmon is one of my favorite types of salmon because it's extremely moist and buttery smooth and it's also the highest in omega-3 fatty acids. But king salmon also tends to be the most expensive type of salmon. So two other species that I really love are coho and sockeye salmon. You saw me use sockeye when I made my salmon patties recipe, and it tends to be a deeper orange color. Coho is a bit milder and lighter in color, but both sockeye and coho are packed with tons of omega-3s and have a delicious light and flaky texture. They make for a delicious home-cooked meal and are probably what I buy most often when I'm not splurging on king salmon. But there's one type of salmon that you should steer clear of, and that's Atlantic salmon. Unfortunately, almost all Atlantic salmon is now farmed, and it's full of a significant amount of pollutants, antibiotics, and other toxins. And you definitely don't want that on your plate. But with so many other healthy choices of salmon to choose from, you should have no problem finding salmon for this recipe. All right, that's it for me this week. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. And if you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up as it helps to support my channel. And I will see you again in next week's video.